Welcome, Internet, to episode 27 of Sis and Big Pops Culture. Woo-hoo! I am Big Pops Todd Turner, also known as Mosaic Fan Art. And as always, my lovely co-host. Hi, friends. I am Hannah Jo, a.k.a. Sis. And together, we are an adult daughter and father duo. We dive into all things geek, nerd, and fandom. Every episode is family-friendly. So, the co-hostess with the mostest. That's the me, y'all. With the... No. What? Where are you, you going? This, this, yeah, we're family friendly. We're not going <laughs> to. I don't know what it would be. What else rhymes with daughter? Anyway. But like. Go ahead, farting? Hannah. What were you going to say? Are you going to make a fart joke? Um, no. Okay. I was going to tell our friends the spiel. Give it the we spiel. We got going on. It's been a minute, Dad. I've missed doing this with you. It's been a minute. We haven't recorded a podcast. Mother's, because Mother's, Mother's Day. Day and then, and then Miriam, engagement. my sweet, sweet sis, got engaged. Ayo, girl. So, yeah. So, we haven't done this in a second. And next week, I'm moving. So, so we're going to do a prime time. Tuesday night prime time. Tuesday night prime time, y'all. Yes. I don't know be what there, be there square. Be. The June the 1st. 2nd. 1st. June the 1st. Second? Second. First? Whatever. Whatever First. Tuesday that is. LOL. We're, we're losing it. it. So right. as per the usual, we got some nerd news we're going to go through. We're going to talk about what we're binging. We're going to talk about dad's pool list. For those, our sweet friends out there who are catching on for the very first time, we'll tell you what a pool list is. Don't worry Woo-hoo. about that, pal. We're going to talk about a phenomenal film on a phenomenal film on Netflix called The Mitchells versus the Machines. And we're going to talk about perhaps the word phenomenal. Like phenomenal. It was phenomenal. Okay, gotcha. Go ahead. Don't perhaps. make fun of my word usage, Dad. I no, go ahead. Yeah. And it's not Schindler's list. But it was a phenomenal, phenomenal kids film, y'all. There you go. Gotcha. Go ahead. Dad. Family friend. Family friend. Family yeah. film. Anyway, go ahead. Mitchell's and versus machine. We're going to talk about a trade that perhaps was very spooky, and I'm not going to read any more of it. Dad's making the biggest oh no face. Um, Here's the deal. Um, we'll talk key. about when we get there, but the Netflix show is much tamer than the comic book I've been doing. 110%. We'll talk about that later. Okay, All dad. right, so. Nerd news. I am. Um, yeah. So, I have pieces. You do? Go I have ahead pieces of the got. news. Okay. Um, what have you... What's going on? What's Jungle happening? Cruise is coming to Disney Plus and to With theaters. The Rock. Okay. It's coming Good, to Disney like, Plus and to theaters. It's July 30th. Is it going to be it that is, Premier Access It's Premier Access. You got to pay uh, 20 bucks to watch it. Here's the thing. Is. I want to see that in the theater. Or do you know what? how much fun it would be to watch Jungle Cruise <gasps> at the drive-in? BTW yeah. um, drove by the Regal Cinema in Lexington. Is it open? Today and today they have like Raya and the Dragon poster up. So there are people, I don't know if they're open yet, but if they're not open yet, they are getting ready. I drove past, uh, the, we have two Regals in Bowling Green. I drove past one of them by the mall, which is not my favorite. If I'm going to go to a Regal in Bowling Green, I, do, I don't go to that one. Do you go to the one over across the railroad tracks? Yeah, the one where we go. Gotcha. Where we've been. That's my favorite one in Bowling Green. Gotcha. Um, right, just because so I open? think, and there were cars in the parking lot, and See, they were like what... parked close to exactly. Like, there's that's usually no saw. cars in the parking lot. Exactly. And so that's I'm I'm feeling good about Cinema Week, Dad. So re- literally, just about it. just today we drove by it, and I was looking because we were like, there are cars parked there. Are they open? And I'm like, oh, well, let me look so. at the movie. Uh, they had a so, Raya please. and the Dragon movie poster up. So I want to watch that, man. I want to watch it. I got you. So Whoops. their Jungle Cruise is coming out. It's July. No, Ju- yeah, July 30th. And it's going to be theaters and Disney Plus premiere access. Okay. Since you talked about that, I'm going to mention this, although it wasn't on my list. Okay. What? So, you know, I'm psyched for the movie Dune, which is yeah. supposed to be HBO Max, right? Yeah. HBO, is it not? Just, they said, psych. We're You're gonna- kidding. No, they said it's going to be exclusive to the theater for 45 days before we put it on HBO Max. Okay, that makes sense, but it's still coming to HBO Max. Yeah, but all these people now you saying everybody have like bought HBO. Yes, this has been like I love it. I got HBO, and now it's like, well, you know, you fooled me. You did basically. Like a, I like got to feeling see wrong. A, a mediocre King Kong Godzilla movie the day it opened. A Mortal Kombat movie, which was like, man, it's all right. I enjoyed and, it. 
the 17 hour long Snyder cut, which was like, man, nah, it was all right. And then the, the big awesome, but okay, here's the deal though. I was going to go watch Dune in theater anyway. Yeah. Here's, I think because I want to watch it has that to be, it has to be seen on the big theater. Yeah, absolutely. I, I feel like I want to, cause I feel like watching you watch yes. it will be an experience of itself because you yeah. high key love Dune. Yeah, I do. I like Dune. Mm -hmm. I sure do. And Dune, um, the old school one movie is available on HBO Max, mm -hmm. but there is a mini series available on YouTube mm -hmm. that is more, which is better. Um, it's well, it's it's more aligned with the book. Okay. So, when does it come out, Dad? July, June? I have no idea. No, yeah, it'll be later August, September, that. October, November, December. Who knows? Um, so DC is like the animation studios are like in full swing. They've got a new DC uh Batman animated series coming out being directed mm -hmm. by JJ Abrams and Matt Reeves. Um cool. Well, but that means J.J. Abrams, like, does he ever finish anything? He usually starts something and then it's like somebody else has to come in and finish. But so I'm wondering, but yeah. um, there is pictures of it online. It looks pretty cool. And mm -hmm. also there was a uh, comic, uh, not a comic. There's a video game, which became a comic, which became another video game called Injustice. Okay. Which yeah. Is where Superman, basically we get the Superman that you see at the end of the Snyder Cut. The one who's been something happened by Doomsday. Or not Lois Doomsday, is gone wrong or whatever. Wrong. So uh the boom the boom guy. The boom yeah. tube guy. What Dark happened side. In the, what happened, I believe, in the video game is that the uh, the Joker kills Lois Lane. Oh. And then Batman won't kill Joker and then Superman, Superman says, goes crazy. It's a fighting game where you can be all these different characters, and then eventually you have to fight Superman. So they're making an Injustice movie, animated Ooh. movie. So Dope. Yeah, I know. Okay. You got anything um, else? Dave Batista has officially signed to be part of Knives Out 2. I saw that, and so is Kate Hudson. I didn't know Kate Hudson. Yeah. What, are, what kind of shenanigans are they going to get up to, I man? Know. I'm ready for it. I love the first one. I can't wait for the second one. It's going to be fun. Although... The first one had a little bit of anxiety for me because the girl, it all had to do with medication errors and I'm a pharmacist and it's sort of... Well, here's the thing. She didn't make a medication error. I know. I know she didn't, but still, I because didn't she know that. Felt until the, she the, felt okay. the, the... Spoiler alert. If you've not seen oh. the first one, <laughs> <Knives> out. <laughs> if you haven't seen this, it's it been literally forever. Hey, so back to nostalgia. Yeah. Stand By Me is coming Stand. out in theaters for the 35th anniversary. Aw. Yeah. And... Also nostalgia. Um, Funko Games has a Goonies tabletop game coming out this summer. Goonies! Goonies, Goonies, so Goonies. You play as, like, one person is the um, the Goondocks master who basically is the bad person. And then everybody mm -hmm. else plays as, you know. Do Slaw we know who's who? Or, I, I'm sure that you do, yeah. I think it's sort of like a dungeon master with everybody else playing gotcha. it. But, so i thought this would be so awesome i can't wait to get it bad news all the pre-sale orders are it's already Aww, already same. sold out pre-orders are already sold out and it doesn't even come out till june 21st but somebody speaking speaking of games what um there's this college humor tv show on youtube I that i really humor. like yeah, it's I called um it. actually and it's a game show this and is it's probably for, for adults no okay because a lot it's, of college humor stuff. A lot of college, yeah. I mean, this I, I wouldn't play this game with kids because it's a trivia game. Gotcha. So I would only play it with like high schoolers and up. But um, actually is like a nerd trivia show where they have like famous nerds come on to the show. And it's like um, Jeopardy kind of. But you gotcha. have to like correct a statement so they give you okay. a statement about a specific category so fantasy cartoons comic sci-fi games uh real life skills and they um they give a statement and there's something in the statement that's wrong and you have to correct the person so you go um okay. actually and then answer it so listen today in church they were talking about samson being the first avenger well they showed pictures oh, of no. like like, do you know who this is? You know, Captain America. And you, you knew everyone. Ant-Man. Do you know who this is? And uh, and then Captain America, Thor, Hulk, whatever. Did so you um, actually in church? 
these were the Avengers, blah, blah, blah. And they've, you know, they've been the Avengers from the very beginning. And uh, our friends of ours, Rex and Stacy are with us. I turned around and go, actually, Captain America didn't join the Avengers until issue four. Um, actually. Um, actually, Captain America was not. One of, even though in the movie, they call him the first Avenger, right? So anyway. Well, so that is, it's not released yet. It's coming out on Kickstarter. And so you, they're releasing like a trivia game based off of okay. the TV show. That's cool. That's fun. I think, yeah, yeah, I think that's really cool. Um, did you know AT and T is selling Warner Brothers? To whom? Discovery Disney Plus. Oh, Discovery. why? Well, they're still going to hold the majority of it. Why? Because AT and T doesn't know how to run a entertainment business. All they know how to do is do telephones. Why Discovery Plus? I don't know. I don't have. I that. guess because Discovery's wanting more platform. Well, I think what we'll do is the HBO thing will stay. But who knows? This hasn't, you know, but I just saw that. And Amazon's trying to buy MGM for like $9 billion. Oh so goodness. I know. Well, but I saw now that all of these Amazon Prime. things have like premium subscriptions now. So it's like Amazon Prime Premium. What? How does that even happen? I have no idea. What does that even mean? I have no idea because I was Googling how to watch Braveheart. And it said you can watch it on Amazon Prime Premium. What? Or Hulu Premium. And I'm like, what is that? All right. Anyway. Maybe I'm lying to you. I don't know. That's Somebody all I got. Somebody fact check that. Fact check. Fact check. Fact checker. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> could, what could be the name of... I almost said uh, Randolfo would be our fact checker. Uh, uh, but I don't know. Anyway, we'll have a fact Ran checker. Randy. Just Randy. Nebulous anyway. fact checker that doesn't exist. Um, I had one more piece of news about, um, and I don't know much about this. I haven't seen the trailer. Didn't watch the first one, so maybe this isn't a piece Go. of news. What is it? But the new um, Venom Let There Be Carnage. I almost brought up a Carnage. I literally almost brought up a Carnage mosaic to have behind September me. September 24th. Do you know who Carnage is being played Woody by? Woody Harrelson. Yeah. Which, like, I'm here for. Okay. So because I, I like him. You know, I couldn't watch... I turned Venom. I off. didn't. I didn't watch Venom. I didn't but watch my, it. But all my friends are like, "Yeah, Eddie Brock's a, a turd." So just watch it, realizing he's a turd. So Cletus Cassidy, who is Venom, is like a psychotic. He's like he is. He has like active psychosis. He is psychotic. He's a really yeah. Maximum Carnage was the um, um, big uh, comic book run where he like kills people and stuff. So here's the thing: I like Woody Harrelson. I know he's he's good. I think he's a funny you dude. You like I him really... because of Zombie Land. <laughs> and he's I was really good. And now you in... see me too. That was a good movie. As I well, wasn't born Hunger Games. Um, born I know him by a lot of things. Okay. Right. Well, but I knew him in Cheers. That was like his first big role. He was like this dumb guy who was a bartender, but he was so funny. Yeah, I'm I, I'm scrolling through his IMDb, and Cheers is popping up. Yeah, Cheers. Oh, is that guy person. in the Good Place was in that too. Wasn't he like Natural Born Killers or something like that? Or um, I can't remember. Yeah, Natural Born Killers, Three Billboards. Was he in White Men Can't Jump? Yep. Yep, with Wesley Snipes. He's been in a lot of big movies. He was in 2012? Yeah, he was the crazy guy on top of the thing. Yes! Going, on the he like, it's gonna be in yeah. Yellowstone. He was the Yellowstone yes. guy. Was it Yellowstone? Yeah, yeah it was Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. I've been to Yellowstone. I haven't. I have. All right. That's cool. All right, that's my, all of our news. Okay, yeah. The Anna, end, end of news. Yes, sir. What are you watching? What's okay. binging? Three things. I'm watching Suits I still. got three things. Hey, twins. I know. Suits. All suits. Right. You haven't got to the last uh, season, so you haven't stopped watching it? No. You don't watch the last still season? Still on season two. The guy that I can't stand. The big bad that they introduced. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, I can't stand Anyways. him. I can't stand okay, him. It's like it. this, like, he is like, he thinks he, he's like, he's like soft. Everything. He has like a soft voice, but Hello. he's, but I he's like jealous. actually an actual turd. And I just gotcha. get so Can we say mad. Turd on a family friendly get, podcast. That's not nice. A nug. He's an actual nug. And I'm so, <laughs> so mad about him. Every time he walks gotcha. on the screen, I'm like, ooh, I can't stand that guy. And I like say it out loud. I'm like, ooh, that guy's the worst. Mm. And this is, of course, for adults. It's for adults. It's for grownups. 
they gotcha. they curse it they curse and they deal with adult themes and don't watch this if you're a kid understood C kid show i'm watching gravity falls what is that gravity falls is on disney plus it's a disney show it was like on disney xd or is it something real people or is it animated? it's a cartoon gotcha it's a cartoon and they have it's what's it about digger and mabel and a grunkle stan it's so like an uncle, uncle. Stan, call him grunkle call him grunkle grumpy. stan because he's just he's a crotchety old dude like rumple stilskin grunkle stan. stan so what's the premise of the show so that's it's um these kids that are living in this weird town where like weird things happen where like in the very first episode gnomes oh, that's dressed funny. up as a teenage boy and tried to make mabel their queen that's fun that it's, like it's just it's just like like yeah silliness. it's silliness and shenanigans gotcha. and like some like like wax figures came came to life and are like mm -hmm. grunkle stan we hate him and like stuff like that like weird shenanigans <laughs> and so it's fun, fun to like watch that it's fun to like play in the background while i'm painting gotcha. or things like I that gotcha. um yeah. and i'm still watching ruby okay got you yeah. um f last time i need to correct myself because last time you said the colors, but it's not blue, it's black. So it's red, oh, white. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. Red, white, black and yellow. Red, white, black and yellow. And, black and oh yellow. man. It's on, it's on Amazon Prime. Oh, okay. They're all on Amazon, Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime premiere. We I don't even, even know, know that if that is. exists. It's on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if that exists. We don't even know if that's real life. Yeah. Um, so I'm I watching that. that. We are not uh investigative journalists no i'd be bad at it man yeah i'm too like, i would yeah I would just... you were that not really sorry but <laughs> i would at least i don't know my um, bad. so i am really liking it you know my beard there... is on point today yeah dad sorry okay. it, i know i know this is an I... auditory medium but i really feel good about it okay dad I, i'm here for you if you're looking at us you on youtube your... or facebook lol at you really, anyway. guys compliment my beard <laughs> um so i don't know i'm really enjoying i'm really enjoying it good i really like they're like intro they're like introducing new stuff and mm -hmm. i'm like we got we got some like flashback sequences and this is an american anime correct this is an american anime so it's in english and anime anime american anime anime you made up a word and then 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 so they got new characters. So they they got new characters. They're doing some flashback stuff. The lore is getting a bit more hashed out. And some gotcha. shenanigans are ensuing, my man. So like, this is uh, teen? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Gravity Falls be for kids. Kids, and, yeah. And Ruby is If you're weird teen. about your kids like and watching anime. like weird stuff. Then don't let them watch it. Like don't let them watch it. Gotcha. Because it's, it's not like, I wouldn't say it's. As a kid? No. Oh, well, there you go. But I don't think pretty, you, we're you're pretty, pretty, you're pretty strict about stuff like that. Yeah, we are. I yeah. think you would have, it's like more like what was that? The, what was that show? Even Adventure oh, Time. Paranormally, gotcha. Yeah, but Adventure but it's Time not is like, just bonkers. That's completely different because yeah. there's like, who knows where that place was going. Dad, what news. What? Adventure Time news. Go ahead. They're doing the thing, the thing that you sent me a picture of. What thing? The Adventure I told Time. You that they were, yeah, I told you that. It was going to be on Oh, HBO. we talked about that. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, two we weeks We talked ago. about it on the podcast. I can't remember yeah. if we talked about that on the podcast or if you just sent it to me. So I am not necessarily binging because I'm doing like you're doing. I'm just like dabbling. Would that be a good thing? I like. I like because they're all different vibes. So if I want okay, a serious so, drama vibe, I watch that. If I right. want to turn my mind off, I watch Gravity Falls. Well, we are completely done with The Chosen. So, so you're caught up or they're done done? Completely. No, they're caught up. Um. The thing about, so we've finished season one. Now, Chosen is a family um, friendly. Um, kids wouldn't like it, but it's a artistic, it's it's done by the same guy. It's the guy whose dad wrote the Left Behind series is the one who's writing and directing this or whatever. And um, it's like the story of Jesus. Um, but a lot of creative liberties, just I'm telling you right now, not everything in it is biblical, but it's it could have, you know, and, and it gives it a, I, I like it um but it's fun to know, think about it is fun to think about it's, it's very good yeah to think about so you could watch the first full season on youtube mm. and the first three episodes of season two on youtube and then and you had to buy the, something 
you don't have to buy anything. It's available on their app. You, so you can download the chosen app, which is what I, I just downloaded the app and then mirrored it to the TV from my phone. Gotcha. Um, or you could, or you could, I think it's like the chosen dot something TV, something you could pull it up on your computer. So it doesn't cost anything now. Okay. Um, of course okay, they do. I was going to be like, oh, really? Mm. They paywall? No, no. But here's the deal. Where are they making their money? I mean, because this is ads, like a serious production. donations. There is no ads. No, no ads. ads. No, they do like sell like t-shirts and stuff like that. And um, I wonder if it's donations you, then. The, it could be. They're, they're, the guy talks a lot. I just fast forward through him, but the show like is the, really the director. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's too much for me. It's too much for me. I, Dad, I love the honesty. Uh-huh. So I, it would <laughs> listen uh-huh. as a non-Christian watching that show that would turn me off. You'd so be like, you, I, I'm out. Sayonara. Like, Peace Sinara. and love my guy. So if you are a non-Christian, but you still would like to watch it, don't watch him. Fast forward it to the show and just watch the show because the show's great. Really, it is. And just for, you know, anyway. Okay, so um, that's one. What else are you watching? Okay, so, so I far have, we both have like a drama, like a live action drama. Okay, so this is more, this is a, uh, on IMDb TV. So okay. this is on IMDb TV. It's called Doomed, the untold story of Roger Corman's Fantastic Four. So there is a documentary about that horrible Fantastic Four movie they made. No. Which Not one? the two that just came out, but the one that was made way back when. You know Dad, what I'm talking about? All of about? them have been not good. I know. That's terrible. I've never watched I, a Fantastic I Four movie to, and been uh, like, oh my goodness, this bopped. I listened to a podcast called Two Headed Nerd and it is, it is, it has, they cuss in it. So if, don't, don't go watch it if cussing is, you know, not your Listen thing. Listen to it? Don't listen to it if cussing is not your anyway. I was making a podcast so, joke because it's an gotcha. auditory medium. I don't know, whatever. So they their big question of the week was what has uh, what what has um, comics? What have they taken from comics and then put it in the movies or TV and made it worse and vice versa? And my answer was anything to do with the Fantastic Four was mm-hmm. made worse, especially nope. that giant debacle with Galactus in the second. But anyway, no, this is Roger Corman's movie, which came which was done I don't know in the nineties or late eighties or whatever. I don't know about it, Dad. Oh, yes. Never been on. uh, I've got to get a copy. So anybody out there has a copy, wants to give me a copy of that movie. I I want it. Anyway, so I'm watching that. The problem was I was having trouble getting it to work on my prime video app on the Fire Stick. So I could only watch it on my phone and got tired and flipped over to Hulu because they started Modoc. Did they? Yes, which is it's stop action animation. That is inframmature. Okay, it's for mature adults. It's like robot chicken um, animation type stuff. Yeah, yeah. Seth Green is literally like the executive producer. So Patton Oswalt is the the voice of Modoc. Modoc stands for we like mental mental organism designed only for killing. Okay, so listen, it starts out and they're like they're like uh, AIM, which is uh, an old. In comic books, everybody knows who AIM is. AIM is like yeah. Hydra. If you've if you've seen any Looney Tune, uh, AIM is in right. No, no Looney Tunes would be Warner Brothers, which owns was DC. Well, what's AIM, what's the AIM, thing in? You're thinking Acme. You're thinking oh. Acme. AIM is Advanced <laughs> Ideas in Mechanics or something. Sorry, sorry. Dad. AIM is like Hydra. They're like okay. a Hydra group, and uh, Modok is the leader of AIM. So they're okay. fighting. They're fighting over top New York, and all of a sudden, Iron Man shows up. And Iron Man is fighting Modok at the beginning of this scene. And then Iron Man starts talking to himself, and it's like he's saying something about the people in Greatest greatest British Bake Off. Greatest Remember? British, the Great British Baking British Show. Bake Off, Baking Show. Yeah. So he's like, he's like, no, what's his face? That's not correct. And Modok goes, are you live streaming the greatest breaking show, whatever, while you're fighting me? And he goes, yeah, I could do two things at once. And then he like kicks Modoc and kicks him out of the thing. And Modoc yells, this person wins at the end of the episode. Oh, no. He spoils it for, for Tony Stark. That was hilarious. Oh, that's the worst though, yeah. man. Because you get like so invested. Oh, I love the Great British Baking Show. Yes. He spoils the end of the greatest. Oh, that British what a villain! Saying. What a but villain to yeah. do that. But when Tony Stark kicks him, uh, Modoc takes his boot. I know who lost. 
Yes. This is goes, the winner. He, says, he does. He yells the winner of the of the season of the se- of the series. That was so. That funny. is hysterical. I'm not finished with it, but it is it is my kind of adult. I love that uh, for you. I'm glad for you to enjoy high it. School boy humor that. Oh yeah, man. Parents would go. You shouldn't watch that. Oh yeah, that's funny. Anyway, that's what I'm watching. It's fun. It's okay. hilarious. It's Patton Oswalt's the voice. So. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I'm also watching Shadow and Bone. Oh, okay. I'm on Netflix. That. It looks like a it looks You wouldn't like, a like it. W show. Oh, here it's it's very much this is see here for this. My little my my teenage girl heart is like, "Yes." Oh no. It's well, it's like the fantasy books that I was reading in high school. Gotcha. It literally is mm-hmm. a fantasy book that I read in high school that oh, is okay. now I thought it was a comic book, but it's a oh, it's 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 a teen... YA fiction. Gotcha. Which is Which, everywhere. Here for because all the YA fiction people are now your age. Yeah. And we're we're like, okay, yeah, bring it on. And it's really diverse cast and all of the people in it are like not bad at acting. Like they're actually kind of good. And it's gotcha. pretty much spot on to the book. And I'm okay. yeah, here for it. Haven't finished it. I have you guess how many episodes I have left? Two. <laughs> yeah. I've been watching it <laughs> off and on for a couple of weeks and I just don't want it to end. <laughs> so I have two episodes. Gotcha. Left. Why am I like this? I don't know. Me either, man. Okay. What's your okay pull list? Explain what pull is list. okay? Yeah, I'd love to do okay. that. I'd, Explain a pull list, Hannah, because you now have a. Pull I list. have a pull list. It is one thing at my local comic book store. Who am I? Woo! Okay, you are on the list, sis. I uh, sis is on the list. Ding ding ding. Like okay, <laughs> go ahead. A pull list. <laughs> so a pull list is like at your local comic book store, um, a list that the proprietor has for all of the people that are regulars in their shop about what they are collecting at that moment in time. That way the proprietor can order the right amount of comic books and can save them for you before putting out their inventory for the rest of the public. So it's like a special list that the proprietor of the store pulls from their inventory before putting inventory out. That way you can make sure to get the comics that you're collecting. Yeah, there you go. So I, my list is exhaustive. And Hannah's? One. Is one. Go ahead, Hannah. What do you got? Okay, so dad showed me this a couple weekends ago when we were in Indiana for Nathan's play and Mother's Day. Yeah. And... Um, Ruby is doing a, the anime that I've been watching is doing a crossover with Justice League and I wanted to get it. So my boyfriend and I are watching Ruby. It's one of his favorite things in the entire world. And so I got it so that we could read it. Here it is. I know it's an auditory medium, but everyone on Facebook, look at how beautiful it is. It's beautiful. I'm stoked about it. Um, I, I, I don't know enough yet to, to read it. He flipped through it and is like, you can't read it. You haven't read it yet. I haven't read it yet because I'm not caught up. Like I have to watch through season three to be able to understand what's happening in the comic book. Which is so funny. I haven't read it yet. I've looked I've looked at it. It's pretty I am usually a kind of person that doesn't like to get these what do you I don't know what you would call crossovers? Or like I like crossovers, but like different different like um like Transformers and Terminator and Ruby and Justice League when like DC is doing Fortnite and Batman. Batman. Right? Which apparently was a mistake I made because they're saying that the book is fantastically done. Really? Yes. Bummer, I'm sorry. I know. And now I don't got it. So that's all right. Yeah. I so enough. I I and I I went and I, I I walked up to my comic book store, my local comic book store and said hello i would like to get this it came out a couple weeks ago do you have it still and the guy was like well let me walk back and show you where it would be and he's like here it is would you like it and i said yes i would i would please very much enjoy buying it and so he gave it to me and i purchased <laughs> said, would it would you like to get it every month and then he said he's like would are is this something that you're going to keep wanting and i said yes please will you please order me the next one i will make sure to come get it and he said i will have it for you yeah, because I guarantee you he wouldn't have bought it if you. If oh no, there's didn't. no way he would have bought it. And they like, yeah, for these types of mm-hmm. things, people will buy the first one, and then, right, that's pretty much it. But yes, so he's gonna get it for me, and awesome. I'm going to go back and get it. Oh, cool! Yay! Yeah. Awesome. 
So I, I'm excited yeah. to read them eventually. <laughs> eventually. <laughs> You'll have to do your review. <laughs> we haven't done this in so long, and I there are so many cool comics that have come out. Like I saw your picture. Here's the thing, Dad. I was looking at your picture you posted on Instagram, and I knew so many of the titles because we have talked about them. Yeah, so I'm just going to run through some of them quickly and then okay. highlight some. Okay, love um, that. So I didn't really narrow it down. I walk with <laughs> So I walk with monsters. Yes, which has been a fave for a while. It is it is a horror comic by Vault Comics. It ended with issue six. Um, this was the young girl who was going after a child abuser who was running for political office. And she couldn't do it. And she couldn't do it. Her brother, though, turns into like this creature that would devour evil people. Oh, no. So you come to find out that if he like, scratches you or draws blood or whatever you can become whatever monster you are inside so he turns himself into this dog type thing goes in they they think he's one of the dogs out looking for the girl he scratches the bad guy needless to say what does he turn into guy, bad guy gets his so what's anyway. he turn into what is the bad guy what monster oh, no, Dad. are we gonna read this is this gonna come out as a trade and we're gonna read it I'm sure it will come out as a trade. Uh, we could read it. There's so many good ones that we could read. I'm stoked. Um, We're gonna. I'm stoked to read Wind. I'm stoked. There's so many good ones on secrets. your. Seven secrets. I'm stoked. Seven secrets. Wind. Uh, Homesick pilots. Oh All man. These are out and coming out in trades. So I'm we stoked only find about them when it. They're dead. I want to do that one too. I'm stoked um, about it. So. Um, Yay. <laughs> Nightwing issue 80 just came out. It continues to be a fantastic book. Probably. One of the best books coming out from DC currently. Uh, the relationship he has with Barbara Gordon is so good. You've mentioned that um, a couple times. He's trying to find this character that is stealing people's hearts. And um, pause. Like their actual physical heart? Or yes. like, oh, yes. no. Yes. Or like they metaphorical. Him, they're calling heart. this character the heartless. Ooh. Yes. It's I wondered so funny. if it was like a Regina in Once Upon a Time and she would like take people's hearts. Like, like, but not their actual heart, oh, no, but like no. their heart. Actual, actual heart. Okay. So that's gross. The thing about it is, is that, you know, we said Dick Grayson got a lot of money when Alfred mm -hmm. died and he wanted to help all these people. So yeah. he report, he gets his wallet stolen, right? We talked about that. But before that, he had set up this, this guy and his son to into this hotel to stay the night. Mm -hmm. So what happens is the police come to, to his house and are like, so, you know, this guy, uh, Oh, yeah, I know. I reported my wallet stolen. He did not steal it. Um, it was stolen afterwards. He goes, well, that guy never made it. And he's dead without a heart. And you're the last person that saw him. So you're like uh, a suspect. Oh, so then he's like, he calls Barbara Gordon and says, hey, uh, you're my alibi. Can you come back? And of course, they both have law degrees. So they're in there and listening to Barbara Gordon take these poor police officers into town apart, apart is so worth it but oh no he uses he, he gets the um one of the robins to come and go visit one of him. the robins yeah to go visit where all these homeless boys hang out to try to get information so that they can find out what's happening and of course he uses his dog that he just saved and he goes why take the dog because people talk to people with dogs a whole lot more than without dogs that's a, that's a fact that's so, a fact and the dog is a girl I found that out. So and the girl dog, so, yay! So, so that's a that's great cute, book. yay! Um, <laughs> I like dogs. I like animals. So uh, Marvel's doing a thing called Heroes Reborn. Which You'd is... mentioned that, which is like how they age. No, no, no. What's happened okay. is something's happened to the world, and um, all the world, Avengers man. never became the Avengers. The only person who re remembers is Blade, the Vampire Hunter, who is currently on the what? Avengers team. Yeah, he's the only one that knows. So like, uh, Captain. I don't even America, know who that is, Dad. Oh, he's a he's a huge character. Blade the Vampire Hunter. We're gonna have to watch one of the movies. I'm not. I mean, I like vampire stuff. Okay, I'm down. But any, he's part vamp. He's part vampire. Yeah. Oh gosh, so many people love Blade the Vampire Hunter. But anyway, um, cool. The thing about it is, is that at the this they're on issue two and they're doing some minor things in between. Um, the people who are the superheroes are called the Squadron Supreme, which basically were created by Marvel for the Avengers as a it DC sounds like bad. It they were sounds... DC knockoffs. Hyperion, you know who Hyperion is? I do. Yeah, so he's the Superman character, so he's like the head good guy. But he was like bad so, in Exiles. Uh -huh. So 
yeah. So he we was don't know like, what's going on. He was like, ugh. Like, so the blah, first blah. issue was great. The two fill-ins were great. The second issue just came out, and I wasn't that great for it. But here's what happened. So <laughs> here's, it wasn't that this. great, but here's what happened. So what happens is <laughs> when the first issue came out, a lot of the comic book shops got these collectible trading cards. They came with like yeah. 14 cards. That's so fun. That were sealed, which I never opened them. I don't open them. I just keep them, put them away. Now they're but worth people, a gazillion dollars. I don't know. People opened them and it gives away who the villain is. Oh no. Is it Hyperion? No. Guess who the villain is. Uh, then, just guess. But, 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 who did, who, who morph. everybody, who everybody thought was the villain in WandaVision. Agatha. It's Mephisto after all. LOL. It it's is Agatha Mephisto. all along. Or maybe it's not Mephisto and they just threw that card in there. But there are all these Avengers and, and Squadron Supreme and Mephisto. So, yeah. I never finished That's WandaVision. It. Still have two episodes left. All right. I gotta Again, I got why so am I like this? There's a new book that came out by Image called Time Before Time. Ooh. Which is, um, it's set in the future and people are transporting rich people or people on the run back to the past to escape their to so escape, they can escape. present what so, little uh -huh. nugs i almost yeah. said i almost said that word that we're not going to say anymore and um the art is really good the concept is really good one guy they're like runners people who do that type mm -hmm. of stuff and it makes you sick so one guy decides i'm going to steal a pod and escape back in time or whatever and like it, his plan gets foiled mm -hmm. um it's it's this right here book I'm really looking forward to. Here's the thing, Dad. Out. The what? more and more we do this, the mm -hmm. more and more I like Boom Studios and Image. Yeah. Well, more got, than Marvel and DC. Well, I've got three more Image books I want to just touch on. Okay, lay it on. Lay it on um, us. Uh, there's a book called Carmen, which is with on a K issue or a C. three with a K. This is definitely adults. Um, the thing about it is. And it just turns a lot of people up. There's a lot of nudity in it. It is not, it is human form nudity, not sexual know. nudity. Okay. You know what I mean? So like it people just walking around like Electra no, when we read no, that let comic? Me, uh, let me tell you. Okay. What happens is Carmen, the character, is a person who ushers someone in from death to the afterlife. Oh, yeah. And so you're not wearing clothes when you're dead. No, you. some people are. But okay. the main character of this story committed suicide in the bathtub oh. so she is walking around the first two and a half issues naked okay um so and it's like she doesn't even know that she's dead so is it is it like um she's she, go ahead like i'm what? thinking like stardust no this character uh, so Do you know what i, I mean was, I know what you mean. No, this character, the Carmen character is supposed to usher them into the afterlife. It's, I believe, uh, what I'm getting from it is that the, this, these people believe in reincarnation, I think is what they believe. Um, what happens in issue three, because I was going to give it till three issues, and if it didn't get better, I was dumping it. Which is, <clears throat> feel appropriate. I like and that rule. issue three was really good. Mm, um, what was really good about else, it? What was different? Someone else, someone else dies. Oh no. And it's really heartbreaking. This person dies, doesn't commit suicide. And the girl finally comes to grip with what she's done. Mm. Sorta. Sorta. And it has a really big message about suicide in it from the Carmen character who's supposed to be ushering her, basically saying, You're selfish. You didn't even think about what you did. Mm. You know, this was you, this is your parents' house. They show her her parents' house. They haven't even gotten the phone call yet that she has passed. And you know, when's the last time you saw them? Here's your bedroom, just like when you left it and everything. So um, <clears throat> I think it's going to be a really, it could be really interesting. Plus, the guy who dies gives her his jacket. So now she doesn't have to walk around naked anymore. That's nice. So, um, but this is definitely for adults, only adults, because of the nudity and the adult themes. Hey, I just want to say this because we're talking about it. If you are yes. really sad and need some help. The Suicide Prevention Hotline. Lifeline is 800-273-8255. And we'll exactly. put that in the show notes, too. Absolutely. And we'll put a trigger warning on this episode that we're this is something we're going to talk about. Yeah, I should have said that. Beginning. It's okay, Dad. But we'll say it now. Yeah. yeah because it it's um it's it's really good. It became good with this issue. Yeah. I was like, 
I don't like how it's just walking. It just basically waltzed around the whole entire thing until this issue. Yeah. So who knows okay. what'll happen afterwards? Oh, um, good. Yeah. So um, Daredevil's fantastic. Continue reading Daredevil. He's not. Daredevil. I saw- I yeah, I went to I went to a comic book shop yesterday and saw Electra still on the cover, and I saw Electra still on the cover of yours too. Yes. He's fantastic, dope. And um, she's training some kid, and something happened. The kid does oh, something no. that she shouldn't have done, and oh, it no. gets. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen from now, but um, <clears throat> so four books I really want to hit on. Okay, one, the the big ones. Lamas. One is from last week. It's by Image Comics. It's called The Good Asian. You've talked and, about that before. Yeah, well, not on here. Um, this is set um, around World War II. So, like, this uh, guy is a detective. coming. He comes from Hawaii to help investigate, a, um, investigate some stuff going on hmm. in San Francisco area, I believe. It, uh, maybe I'm not. Oh, no. I don't remember where he is. But anyway. It's not, so, it was not good in the San Francisco area for... He's, he is held in detention. Even though he's a police officer, yeah. Until until the police officers come and the get guy's like, no, get, he can't be in here, which was really it. Really is good to read this, um, especially with stuff that's going on with in our society now. Um, yeah. So this guy um, is a detective. You see how um, people of Asian descent were treated during this time. Um, like, uh, you know, you never know what's going to, these kids, you don't know, they don't know what's going to happen to them mm-hmm. or anything. Um, so the, beyond that, the story's fantastic. The way he <laughs> sees things, it reminds me of like, like he's detecting things and like, it'd be a close up on his eye and then a close up on something he sees. And it's like, you see his thought process, sort of like you would see like Robert Downey Jr. And, um, Sherlock Holmes. Mm-hmm. Remember how he would, it would like through- go really, really slow. And then, like, how he would see how things were going to happen. And he would see, happen. like, I'm going to go this way, and you're going to go this yeah. way. And, and then he'd be like, and yeah. break, and it would happen. Yeah. So um, I'm interested to see where this goes. Um, mm. It's a really good book. I, it's a plus for me. Um, they Marvel does this thing called Life Story, where they take a group. That's what I thought you were talking about when you were talking about Hero Reborn. No, this is Life Story, where they take a comic book character and they start them at the beginning and they age through time normally so they change some of the stories or they adjust some of the stories and um they're doing one now for the fantastic four i wouldn't normally mention it but i love fantastic four fantastic four is your absolute favorite and you're allowed to love whatever it is you like so much they change so much of the origin really yeah they don't go to space they do go to space, but like Ben Grimm and Reed Richards are not friends. They haven't been friends. Why? Johnny Storm basically blackmails Reed into allowing him on the spaceship, which makes sense because which yeah, one hundred and ten percent. Why would you take him uh, on in the first place? And um, there is no Doctor Doom at the, in the first ten years. This follows. This is the '60s, so no Doctor Doom. But um, it's interesting because they he sees a glimpse when they become Fantastic Four of a of a disaster coming to Earth. And it is Galactus. Oh, no. And um, so he's got he's trying to convince these people that, listen, we've got to figure out what this is. And it's so funny because he convinces them to go basically the negative zone. They see Galactus. And instead of wanting to explore, which is what the Fantastic Four always want to do, Reed Richards is like, we got to no leave. We can't come in here. We got to get out of here. So I'm interested to see where this goes. Yeah, it doesn't seem... Mm-hmm. the same to the people that you the people lol the it's characters not, it is different but hmm. i think what happened i love the fantastic four because they're a family unit and i mm-hmm. think what we're going to get to see is them become a family unit. which we love we love a story where people become closer together as a family we'll talk about one yeah. later gotcha so um <laughs> My other one is called Radiant Black, which is issue four, just came out by Image. This is the one we meant. I mentioned it before. The guy comes home. He's a failed uh, writer, comes home, and he, he and his buddy are out drinking, and he touches a black hole. We talked about this. And he gets this power Same. of a black hole, right? Well, there's a, another character who ha- also has the power of the black hole who's like Radiant Red. But in this issue, you finally start to, or last issue, you begin to believe, find out that this black hole is actually a creature. Oh, no. 
in this like, car- issue, like a like a venom symbiote like type a, of shenanigans something like that something like that or something of that nature um, Dope. in this issue they finally be able to communicate with one another Ooh. and um okay. so they're communicating and he's basically saying there is something bad coming get Are ready you prepared to do whatever it takes to do this mm. and um and at the end the radiant black fights radiant red um, they start to a building starting to come down and both of them together are trying to save the building oh something happens to the guy who's radiant black and i don't want to give it away because the story completely just... changes okay well then don't tell us like so, completely out of the blue i was if, like oh, it's episode it's what? episode lol issue, issue three four four issue four so could Down people now. find these if they wanted to they're awful hard to find okay honestly they are you'd have well to probably that's the buy thing man because we're, we're talking about all of these really cool comics but some of them are like two three four these are harder to get because they were hard to find anyway gotcha the, the okay. print run was not extremely high and the the people who got them were like this is great and then word of mouth got out so yeah. if you don't have a guy buying it for you it, you would have to probably, okay so if this you is something probably you're interested buy in, them off of ebay go um, check but, out okay you probably have to pay a couple extra dollars per issue. Do they the have like a library for comic books? Comixology. You can buy them on Comixology, okay. which is through the Kindle app, and it doesn't cost as much. Okay. Absolutely. So, no, but I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking to myself here, like, it'd be dope if there was like, if you could do this, you could do like a comic library and where people like, you can't like leave the place with the no. comic books but There's you could the go there to no to read heck them. no nobody's coming to my house to read comic no, books it would be it would, it would be a library it would be everything. a library you wouldn't it would not be your house you can i think you can get like trade paperbacks from the library Honestly. i know that you i know that you can get like uh Mm-hmm. Yeah. graphic novels and yeah that's what I mean. a fancy word that's not graphic novels trade paperbacks which is that's not trade paperbacks Oh, I don't know what the fancy word would be. I don't remember what they are. Oh, well. So anyway, Book of the Week. Book of the Week. Book of the Week. Give us the Book of the Week. Wonder Girl issue one. You loved it? It was your favorite? Oh, man, it's fantastic. Oh, I want to read it. The art is amazing. So basically, this is the origin story of the character that was introduced during the uh, DC Future State. Uh, Wonder Woman issues one through two. So and this, this is Marvel. Is this is DC. DC, yeah. Um, so, yeah, fantastic book. This is my pick of the week. Radiant Black would have to be an F, be a, a close second. It would be a second place. Yeah. yeah but, um, again. So we're getting introduced to Yara. She's going back to Brazil to cool. get her um, to, I guess, to get it, find her origin. When she gets to Brazil, something happens throughout the world. And all of these characters no. are like, Som- something's not right. Something's different. Something's up. Something's up. And you see like um, Queen Nubia, who's like in charge of one of the uh, Thymascara right now, is mm-hmm. like. Queen Nubia. Yeah. she's That's cool. She's like. That's an Egyptian. Uh, we need to get, we need to go. And um, then there's someone else uh, in like the, the God, the Olympus gods, Hera is like, something ain't right. We need to go. And then some other place where they're meeting are like, we need to go to Brazil. There's Greek so and Roman these, gods. And all these places are going to are gonna converge. converge on this. It, the oh, funny dope. thing, they need the splash page when she steps foot in Brazil, shows all these things. And one of the pictures up in the corner is Nightwing walking his dog. I was like, that is hilarious. Fantastic. Because he, so, he has his dog. Because he has his dog. Because he has his dog and he's going out now. That's really cute. Oh. So I, I love it like, when stuff like that happens. Yeah, I was like, that is because so it's neat. the same world. Yeah, there even you get Superman, you get Harley Quinn going, something's not right. Batman's going, huh? Oracle, who is, uh, I'm going to show Hannah the picture on the screen. Oh, that's so cool! And he has his. There's Catwoman, and he's on his little doggy. Yeah, he's, he's on his dog. <laughs> that's so, so cute. Yeah, so this <laughs> this book is uh, fantastic. I don't want to spoil so it. I think it's. I was been looking forward to it. I was like, my friend Hector said um, when when this book, uh, the other book, DC Future State book came out, said, listen, if they would do a book for her, I'd buy in a heartbeat. And yeah. 
I'm so glad. I Here's forgot thing. that it was coming out. I forgot to tell Scott to put it back for me. And he, he had already, it for you. He had it already in my stash. <sighs> Let's talk about how great Scott is. I know. He knows you, him. my great. guy. That's it for my comics. Dope. So now we, we watched, watched the, the Mitchell's cutest little movie, man. Versus Machines. <laughs> Here's the thing. I was like, I was excited to watch it. And I'm getting ready to move, so I'm like, do I want? I don't like, got time for this. I'm like, I'm gonna sit down and pay two. Oh. <laughs> you didn't have to pay; it's free. It's no, I didn't Netflix. have to pay. But I, no, you didn't let me finish my sentence. I'm like, I had because when I watch movies that we talk about, Dad, I sit down and I like pay attention to them. Gotcha. Like Make I try notes. not to knit while I'm doing them. Mm -hmm. Like I try to like be there watching the movie. And it was like two hours long, and I was like, oh, this is two hours long. And then it gets started, and I'm like immediately into it. it was and so like, fun. I'm like live texting dad my reactions the yeah. entire time. I'm like, dad, dad. <laughs> He's like, yeah, Hannah, it's really good. <laughs> okay, well, let me give a, just a little bit of a lowdown. Okay, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. A, this is a rated PG. Mm -hmm. It is an hour and 53 minutes long. It's it long. Is available on netflix mm -hmm. um, it's sony which is interesting because sony we had Animation. talked about that all sony is gonna go to disney disney no, no, wrong go to netflix after it's been released and so correct. i thought it was interesting that this was sony animation and we had talked about that before direct to netflix and um yeah that's all so here is how my, my i i'm going to say this is the kind of movie this is what i thought if you this could is, take if you could take the vacation movie the original yes. vacation movie with Chevy Chase. Oh yeah. Combine it with iRobot yeah. and make it animated. For kids. That's for kids. This That's what it is, man. It was great. So this follows um <laughs> Kate, who is a high school senior getting ready to go to college. She is like a really good um she makes videos. She does design. Um, she does design. Video design. design. And video I mean, she, yeah, she does all of it. She does the okay. producing. She does right. the. So she's got going to design. some fancy schmancy school for film school in college. Do film in college. And, in California. Um, the dad is an outdoors guy and uh, gets attacked by possums. Um, he <laughs> and knows nothing about uh, technology, accidentally breaks her computer, bless his heart. He didn't mean to break her computer. He didn't mean to break her computer. Yeah. And mm -hmm. they didn't have to be fighting over it. So, yes. So this is this is like everybody has Siri, but it's called Pal, Pal which is voiced by Olivia Coleman, who was um, she the crown. Yes. Yeah. The crown or she was. No, no, no. She, she was, was the queen she, on the crown. She was the second queen. Well, I know she was in a movie about the queen in the, in the Netflix series, The Crown. Oh, she okay. was the second Queen Elizabeth. I remember her from Hot Fuzz. She was in oh. Hot Fuzz. She was one of the <laughs> police too. officers in Hot that Fuzz. That too. <laughs> so she is the voice of Siri, which is Pal. <laughs> and what happens is, is they're, everybody's got their little smartphones and they're downloading an update and basically it becomes iRobot. But Well, she becomes obsolete because, and the creator is a bit yes. of a turd about her becoming obsolete. And yes. he excuse me, a bit of a nug about her nug. becoming nug. obsolete. That's hilarious. And we'll put a disclaimer at the front of this too. Suicide warning and Hannah says the word turd a lot. Yeah. And the creator just kind of throws the phone and is like, eh, this is, we don't need this anymore. We got robots now. Yeah. And, and she's like, she's like, uh. she's like, ah. so the funny thing is, is that the dad decides he cancels Kate's flight to school and he's like, we're going to drive across country as a family. One last road trip uh, as a full family before she goes to college. Yeah, she's a, she little, has a brother little brother who's who like, loves... how old? Eight? Nine? I don't know, but he, he has a voice about as deep as mine. I thought that was hilarious. He loves dinosaurs, calls people up on the phone randomly and says, do you want to talk about dinosaurs? And, so but funny. like very kindly, would you, would you like to have a conversation with me about dinosaurs? And they're like, no. Okay, and thank he you. marks the name marks off. The name and off and the name keeps off and the he was like in the K's in this phone I know. book. Like the he had mom, been doing that for a minute. The mom the is vi trying to like, The violet one. The, the mom is trying to like be the best uh, social media mom there is. Like she's and doing, she's like, so bad at fails. it. She's trying to make cupcakes with the kid's face while watching them. Like, you know, like people would do on Instagram. And their, their next door neighbors are like uh, social influencers. Well, the, the voices... 
Their are, voice. Yes. It's Chrissy Teigen. John Teagan. Lennon and Chrissy Teigen. John Legend. John, John Legend. Lennon. LOL. If it was LOL. John LOL. Lennon, Come at me. <laughs> if it's John Lennon. I'm so embarrassed. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. We knew We knew what you meant. Okay. So the, the, um, the Mitchells also have a dog, a pug, named Monchi. <laughs> Guess who? Who's voiced by a human? No way. Who? Doug the Pug from Instagram. You're lying to me. No, they use his barks and his voices. And that his is the cutest. Is that not hilarious? Yes. I didn't even. Miriam was the one who introduced me to Doug the Pug. She, Miriam, loves Doug the Pug, or she did. So, uh, yeah. So they are on a last ditch effort to get her to school when and the robo apocalypse happens when the robo apocalypse happens and they somehow manage to keep themselves safe they have these two robots that they have like accidentally reprogrammed who because are something voiced by fred armison from saturday night live and i believe conan o'brien <laughs> I mean, what are their names eric and like the yeah, other and I like the I other robot and they're like we're gonna walk downstairs yeah they like they like, they like do the like and, they, and he's like look i made sad I liquid out of my face and like draws a teardrop on his face and i'm like are you guys okay man like they're really funny Okay, I want to touch on the animation style. I love the animation style. There's like multiple animation styles in it, but I love it. I also love ha her videos. How her videos her are really videos? funny. Really good. Um, I would definitely follow her on whatever social media she was on. Kate. YouTube. YouTube. And he like can't spell YouTube. <laughs> the, dad. You the dad. Yeah. <laughs> so the dad, I, I mean, yeah. Is it, it's like a dysfunctional family, but is it really? Is any family fully functional? We're I don't all know. a little bit dysfunctional. Where everybody's a little bit. The, them, they like watch this perfect family like evade the robots, and then yes. they're like, they're like, we're gonna do exactly what they did, and they try to like jump over a thing, and they all like the flop like, on top. Of it. <laughs> and they like so fall. It was so good. I know. Even like, uh, but the little, the 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 little, little boy girl? raptor. Oh, no, the little the, girl who also loves dinosaurs. Yes, he's like the next door neighbor's like, hey, I like, like and he's like, he's like, ah, and the little kid's he, like, ah. He like, didn't know what to do, did the he? The other way, he's like, girl, girl can't compute and like runs the other. So John Legend and Chrissy Teigen's family are like, they like, they're like ninjas and dressed in white trying to avoid the and they're robots. they're like uh, ethereal, like jumping <laughs> yes. over things and like yeah. butterfly kicks. And, and the other family's like me. <laughs> yeah, they're like <laughs> us. They're like, <laughs> flop yeah <laughs> this is a this is a very fun movie very good movie i love it um your mom and i watched it i laughed out loud i laughed out loud during like literally like was like cackling i mean i just i have been this entire time talking about it just because it was yeah. so funny i have I pulled up our like, text conversation just to Go show ahead. um behold the twilight of man like <laughs> the furbies are talking <laughs> The Furbies are like the a Furbies. gargantuan There's Furby. There's like a giant Furby. They go to a mall and Pal can I take remember. over all of electronics. And the Furbies are like talking in like little their little Furby language, and there's like subtitles. And this one of yes. the Furbies says, "Behold, the twilight of man." I and remember women fighting each other over Furbies at Christmas time. <laughs> it was bad. So it's oh, funny the because the, the okay, yeah, it's a number three Robertson head non-slip screwdriver so that is what the, each member of the robertson family or the rob the mitchell family has in their pocket at all times yeah and she the, the wife was like oh yeah my anniversary my 30th wedding anniversary gift and the girl's and like yeah handy. my you sweet 16 it. present and you knew and if without it the world would be would be a disaster It'd be doomed It'd be doomed yeah the the uh, dog, pig, dog, pig, loaf of bread. Loaf of bread. <laughs> so that's funny. The robots can't distinguish their pug dog, what it is. Like it, the facial recognition and everything, it can tell what everything else is except for their pug. And that's like what throws them over the end, over the edge. My so, favorite is like the like more elite robots. And then the, the mom is like her. She's like very coddling to the younger one. 
Like, it's mm-hmm. like a baby. Like, she's like, my baby boy. Like, it's very, like, a little bit coddling towards him. Yeah. And he gets taken away by these robots. And she's like, my baby boy. And, like, becomes this, like, Listen, robot yes. assassin exactly. woman. And, like, gets, like, because there's, like, two types so... of robots. There's, like, a fancy one and, a like, a like version one, version two. And version two is, like, right. more advanced. And you so they're fighting home. version two. Own good. Yeah, it's very, it's very, very spooky i ooh, i might watch they a robot they weren't gonna kill the ro- they weren't gonna kill the humans they, they were, were just gonna, gonna blast them into, into space to save with no food i don't know and no <laughs> bathroom how are they gonna do that no food no bath. well if you don't have food you don't need a bathroom um Daddy. so as far as but watching they called her the violet one and i thought that was really funny one, because the, she, the violet like the violet color violet because she, she was is purple, purple. Because yes. she's purple. But she was the violent one, too. That's so um, funny. So that might be something like small kids, because what happens is she beats the snot out of these robots, and it sprays oil on her face. But it looks like if she were a ninja in Mortal Kombat, you know what that would be, right? Very funny. Oh, yeah. So, Very funny. So, um, yeah. I was dying. Very good. I was dying. The... The father daughter dynamics are very sweet. Yes. There's a lot of family, like, and in the, the like. Yes, there's a lot of redeeming qualities. There's they, a lot of redeeming qualities in it. The dad, they, they love, they each, love other, each other so much. I think it's like every family. We love each other, but we get on each other's nerves. And I you think know. that the dad and the daughter. I mean, you get on my nerve all the time. <laughs> and I, I'm going to have to get you a screwdriver, though. Um, I, By the way, for full disclosure, I keep a pocket knife in my pocket at I'm all just saying. times. And Hannah goes, it reminds me of you and your pocket knife. We went to the ball game. Uh, <laughs> last weekend we and did. i got up to the th- i got up to the thing where and they you're scan like oh, and i'm like it's not crap i got a daggone pocket knife i had to go hide it in a bush yeah, you and did. then pocket knife bush it, pocket knife bush it was there when i got out yeah gotta go get um, his dad's like okay you all go ahead and start without me i'm gonna go get my pocket knife out of the bush okay the- so something for um parents if you're gonna let your kids watch this this um um how are we going to say it? you help me here hannah because i'm bad about this <laughs> katie um is lgbtq yes um she they handle it very well if this is um a conversation that you don't feel comfortable with discussing with your children then i suggest you watch the show and then watch it again with your children because <laughs> you're going to watch it want to watch it twice anyway um <laughs> yes so just just as a you know, just to let you know, like I said, watch it for yourself. Also, mm-hmm. watch. There's an in credit scene. Um, I didn't even know the, there was an in credit scene. I just where I the stopped mom watching it. is like, oh, are you guys both going to be here for Thanksgiving? Oh no, the in credit scene was cute. And um, so yeah, Sweetie. watch it, um, and then watch it again with your kids because it is fantastic, and you're going to want to watch it again. I know yeah. I do. There you go. I'd want. Yeah, I might put it in the background while I'm packing. This so. Week. Uh, how many robots would you give this movie? Uh, should we do robots? Because they're bad in this movie. I know. Should we do pugs. screwdrivers? Screwdrivers. Loaves of bread. Lo- Screwdriver. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> bread. I'm going to give it four and a half. I'm going to give four it five. All right. There you go. I'd watch it again. I would watch it again. Actually. I would, I I would like watch, it, watch again. it again and again and again and not get bored with it. Because I think I it's one of those things. that I've missed stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think you could watch it over and over again and laugh at something new, see something new. Yeah. Yeah, we've been talking so, a long time today. I saw you look here's at your the watch. Deal. Let let us. We're going to go from something for kids to something that is not for kids. Oh, Sally we, said, "Sorry, Sally said, love it." Sad liquid running down my face. Sally thought that was funny. Oh yeah, that is funny. Um, the um, uh, we read we another read, horror. We read a horror comic, and this was free on mm-hmm. Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, you can read the first trade paperback for Lock and Key. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you can read sh- more than the first one. I think there's a, another one is there for free, oh, too. Oh, really? I don't know. Well, I'll have to check it. Um, it is a horror comic written by Joe <laughs> Hill with art by, I believe, Gabrielle Rodriguez, I believe. I don't know. Is, Ga- don't is that a lady or a man? Gabrielle, I think it's or a woman. someone else. I could be wrong. I don't know. Do you know who Joe Hill is? No. Okay, so Joe Hill, who is I'm the writer Google. of this, was a horror. No, no, no. I know. Don't You don't have to be Okay, okay tell me. Google to, see if it's me. A gr- Google to see if it's a, a lady that draws it. Okay. So Joe Hill is decided when he started writing horror that he did not want to be accepted on the coattails of his famous horror father. Oh, I read about this. So I read about this. He changed his name from Joe Hillstorm King 
to Joe Hill. Stephen King has a son and his name is Joe Hill? That is it. So, yes, there you go. Joe Hill, the creator of Lock and Key, is the son of Stephen King. And yo, Lock and Key is spooky. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right now, I discussed some of the elements of this of this book with my small group who has seen the show on Netflix. And the show on Netflix is much softer. Than I've watched, book. okay, so we talked about this before, I think, in real life, not on the podcast. But I started watching Lock and Key just because it seemed really interesting. And I talked about, we, the, this comic stops when the little boy finds the mind key. And what? the mind key, oh, yes. He, like he pulls it out of the thing the mind key so did you see did you go to the the did you look at the last pages of the comic no, no you read I the comic and then there's like extra stuff at the end oh i didn't so, i didn't look you at remember it. how i said there's a thing in comic books called pinup pages yeah which would be like one page picture that you could go and mm -hmm. look at we talked about that when we read uh swamp thing yeah and you can well, pair them out if you wanted to there is up. a picture of bodie who is the little boy his mind and the key into the back of his head. It's into with, his back of his head. With the different sections of his mind and what's inside each one of his sections. That's what the mind key does. Wow. So. And yeah. it is like. I watched. I watched the. Okay. I watched a. I couldn't finish. I. Okay, here's scary the Scary well, things are too much for like, me. Okay, let's not do that because let's just talk about the comic because we don't okay. have a lot of time anymore. Okay, 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 okay. So okay, this okay. comic covers. Uh, a big, huge chunk. A, a um, very traumatic event. Very traumatic event for the three children. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, their their father is murdered. Mm -hmm. Their mother is attacked. The mother lives, and they uh, go to move in with their uncle, who lives, if this tells you anything, in Lovecraft. I Matt saw that, too. I was like, how did I that miss that go, they live in Lovecraft? I was like, how did I miss thing. that? Yeah. So, Uncle Duncan, who I believe... Um, they allude to his sexual preferences in it. Um, Uncle Duncan loves his brother, loves his brother's family and their children. And Very much. Children love him too. But you come to find out that the, the older son who has to basically save, uh, beat one of the attackers to keep, to save his family. To save, yeah. His save brother his and sister and his mom. Um, and he's like late high school and he's right. like a big dude. Big like, dude, a like a big player. dude like he'd be like, like a, a linebacker doc. i would say he's more like a person here in central kentucky like a farm guy i think i think he's like a farm boy too he's got the he, ball cap on with he's the got the ball cap lure. he's like fixing like stuff yeah yeah the girl the is the, more of a more like punk a gothic punk. punk rocker type of yeah person. she emo um but the i forgot what i was gonna say the boy you has a flashback when he was a little kid like Bodie's age who's a younger younger brother and he listening to his mom and his dad flirting with one another and um he says like he has a plan if anything happens you would go live with Duncan at um key house it? key house and there goes where you all would be safe like goes, well why don't you live there and he goes because the house didn't choose me the house chose Duncan i think so the house chose Bodie speak. And I think the house has chosen Bodhi. Too. The house has yeah. chosen Bodhi. So Which, ooh, that a, makes me nervous. I don't know. I get I a think, nervous feeling about it. I think, I think long, I don't know. I feel like there's a little bit of a protection there. I, don't I think, think the there's a protection there. I, I don't think but the house wants, but, but people, his, Bodhi's people think he's being a little kid. And Not think anymore. He's coping strangely. Not at, they don't anymore. Not his, at the end his, of the comic. His two kid, the two brothers, two and, brothers sisters, and sisters, because here's the thing, the grownups can't see it. Right. The whole thing well, is because, that the grownups can't see it because they're okay, too so old to is, believe in so it. So the first door he unlocks, when you open it, basically what happens is you unlock a door, something happens. Mm -hmm. All I the keys do something key, different. Each key goes to a different door keys. and it does something different. Yeah. They're so all keys. He, he opens a door and he becomes a ghost and he can mm -hmm. go to different things. The, the cool thing was is that and when he goes to school the first day, he draws what you did this summer. And part of it was like, it Becoming was a ghost. This would be like, dude, you're going straight to <laughs> my wife's petrifying. counseling center. It was you're going straight to my wife's counseling center. You are. That's just what it is. But part of it is I like being a ghost. And they're like, you can't draw that. That is, that's the mom was nice. literally like, I'm glad that you feel close to your dad when you like to be a ghost, but you can't tell your teacher that anymore, man. You're freaking people out. 
Yeah, but he really was a ghost. He really and was a ghost. There is a creature that had been held captive in the well of the key house. And she has uses... two keys. She is the anywhere key and she is the face changing key. So well, she how do you know both... that? Because she has the anywhere key. Well, how did you know that's what it was called? Because if you look at the key that has the two faces. Yeah. It, it so she it changed it? she changed the way that she looked. She had the two she so you she has the it. So she okay. changed her face in the comic. Pay attention. And the yes, anywhere she's key now like a dude. Well the anywhere key, you put it in a door and you turn it and, and it takes anywhere. you where you want to go. Gotcha. It takes you anywhere. Yeah. So she has so the two the keys you don't want her to have, my guy. Oh, yeah. it stresses me out. It stresses me out. So she's okay. bad news. We're gonna end. We're gonna wrap it up here. Here's the deal. This book is good, but it is it Hard. is hardcore. And again, we'll put a, a note on here. This has to do with there's uh, we're fr family friendly, so I don't want to. There's some it. significant trauma. There's a lot of gore. To the mother. Let's just say this: one, they're both male perpetrators, and one of the male perpetrators, yes, the mother lives. Um, and there, yes, there is blood. That is immature. It is rated R all day long. Yeah. That comic book is. Do and not let kids watch. Do not let kids read this. I don't know if they can watch the show because I haven't watched it. I, so I, can't give I think a it's. Review. I think it's PG fourteen, like TV gotcha. fourteen. Understood. It is. This comic book would, if they did it like the comic book, it would be. In, it's not. It's not. You don't see anything that happened beforehand. You. You. I mean, there's a couple flashback mm -hmm. scenes, but they're not as graphic. Gotcha. Gotcha. And. I I stopped watching it from like a psychological perspective because in the with the mind key the daughter gets it and she so they yeah, okay gotcha she goes into her mind and it is not a safe place for her to be because she has unprocessed trauma and as a person who does my job I'm watching it and I'm like oh no she's gonna make a poor cho she does she makes a poor choice she goes into her mind captures her fear in her mind kills it buries it outside of like literally takes it out of her head and buries it. So, yeah. So and you can't do, a, like, you fear, like, anxiety is a natural response, right. but when mm -hmm. we've experienced, like, trauma or traumatic events. Hey, Hannah, it ain't all about your head. Don't forget about your legs. I sent you that song. Your hips. <laughs> yeah. That's a sweet that's a little song. song. Anyways, I, uh, uh, it was cool yeah. to read. Yes. This is a good, this is, um, it is not my jam, but. It was a good book, though. I can tell if it is your jam, you'll love it. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well done. It's, the art's fan. The art is gorgeous. The art is and really cool. It's so, very stylized. I feel so sad for the kids. I mean, really, I empathize with them. It's sad. Um, but I think they're really going to be united and the family will come together. Over uh, yeah. I mean, I'm bummed that it's not my jam because I, I want to know, know how it ends. Ditto. But I, who knows? But I don't think I can read them. I don't think I can keep reading them. All right. But if you so, like horror stuff, check it out. Check it out. All right. Thank you guys for playing along. Yes. All of our seven listeners. Don't forget, if you share this and DM me your address, I will mail you stickers. I mailed some out and people are like, these are Joe awesome. Got them. And I'm like, I know. Yeah, Joe loved them. Joe and loved so them. so did uh, Josh. Uh, Spencer sent me a, That's a awesome. note saying thank you. And the guy from California loved it. Really? Uh, Master Brad on Discord. Yeah. He was so very thank you. I thought, awesome. Yeah. Thank you. And the, uh, Charlie from uh, a friend of mine uh, was like, man, I collect stickers. I've got them already in the little spot where they go, so fun. labeled and everything. So, yeah. Awesome. So there you go. So cool. share. Press the share button. Okay. Enroll. Enroll. Um, thank you, sweet friends, for listening. Hey, our art and cover art was made by my little brother, dad's son, Nathan, um, on Microsoft Paint. He literally is just an artiste, y'all. He did that Microsoft Paint. Phenomenal. Our theme music is created by Brockwell Nason. Um, check go, out his Brock. stuff um, on Spotify. Um, our Where YouTube is maintained by uh, Big Pops himself, and Which I edit our podcast. I, I need to do some of it. I haven't done it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody looks at it anyway. So. Oh, I know. People are watching them. One of them has 13 views. What? Oh, gosh. I need to start putting more up. Yeah, you do. What? 13, 13 views is so many views. <laughs> it's those daggone, oh, daggone HBO execs. <laughs> they're they're just trying to see house. what, yeah, trying to make sure that we're not giving away any trade secrets. No, I got none. All right. <laughs> well, friends, well, thank guys, you for hanging with us. Prime time next time. Woo! Tuesday night. We'll yes. let you know. Okay. Well, sweet friends, thank you for hanging with us, and we will catch you on the flippity flop. On the flip -flop. Bye. Bye. Our Facebook friends. 
All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Thanks for and watching and hanging out with us. Yay! We will see you again later.